You know sometimes how you get one of those songs that just won't get out of your head, it just plays over and over? Well, Moon River, the Audrey Hepburn version, has been doing that to me recently. And I couldn't find a playthrough that was in the right key and everything, so I thought I'd do my own. So anyway, let me play through it now, and then I'll take you for a walkthrough. Okay, let's go through the chords in detail then. So I hear this in the key of F major. It's not often easy to work out the key of uh, songs from movies because of the way they process the movie to turn them into TV it can often speed up or slow down the movie and that changes the pitch of the soundtrack slightly. But anyway, I hear this in F major. And the guitarist appears to be using his thumb all the way through. So this opening chord is just that F major. And you can hear that's the, the riff really. Then he moves to D minor using the same picking pattern. Then to B flat. It's just playing the inner strings and you can hear it's changed the way he's playing the notes now is going to F so that's F with an A bass and just using the inner strings again to B flat to F with an A bass so that what's that that's an E minor seven flat five so what I'm playing there is low E up and then a little bar across the third fret. Then slide up to the fifth fret. And so I'm playing an A7 up on the fifth fret here. Hopefully you can hear that. So it's, it's a bit like an A bar chord but just the top four notes with an open A bass. To D minor still on that 5th fret, so this is an A minor bar chord. Then a slide back 2 frets to the 3rd fret, bar there. And you can see that that's actually a bar D7 chord, it creates an F7 chord. To B flat on the inner strings again. Then up to E flat 7 up on the 6th fret. That's an A7 bar chord up on the 6th fret. Then D minor. And then there's a sequence of chords here which starts with a... So that's a B minor 7 flat 5. The best way of thinking of this is it's sort of... It's a D minor... Uh, yeah, D minor chord with a B bass. To E7. Is only playing the, from that E up to the top E, then an A7 to a D7, 
and this D7 chord is, as you can see, it's a C7 chord slid up two frets, but we're just playing the inner strings. Then a G minor 7, and I'm playing the, the root with my uh, second finger, and barring my third finger across the uh, F, B flat and D notes, and muffling the A string to C7, and then we're back in the theme again. listen to Audrey Hepburn's vocals she starts to sing the lines at half the speed now and we start with the D minor chord down with the same chord with the C bass same chord with the B bass and then that's the B flat 13 so what am I doing there it's, it's basically a, like a B7 chord finger I just flatten it to give me that uh, that G in the top there then to F with an A bass again B flat F with an A bass B flat F with an A bass then so what's that that's a F on the bass and then seven, six, five for the frets that I'm using. So this is a D minor with an F bass. Then G minor to C7. And then B flat, a little passage of with a, with a walking bass to an F chord. So that walking bass is B flat on the bass, A on the bass with the same chord. just keep my, I prefer to keep my little finger barred across the, the third fret there. Now I've tabbed all this out, so I'll put the, uh, a tab, a PDF of this in the description field so you can download it and work through it in your own time. But that's how to play it. So it's one of those songs that sounds really quite simplistic, but some of the chord changes are quite tricky. So give it a go, see how you get on, and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.